Hello again. Um, as promised, <coughs> base affinity. Uh, um, when I first bought this, I had um, thirty pound in a super drug voucher because I was living off crap foundation over Christmas, and I really needed something. Um, so my nan got me a thirty pound voucher, <laughs> and I love her for it. Um. So I went out and I bought this. This was eleven ninety nine when it came out. It's been out a while, but I haven't, you know, I haven't tested it. And I was looking for a decent foundation. Um, and the one I normally use had just, you know, they weren't bringing any more in, so I needed to change. Um, <clears throat> so I bought this. Um, I was really happy about this because I'd seen lots of reviews that said, "Oh God, this is amazing foundation," and it does this, 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 and this to your skin. Um, and I read it, and it's got a primer and concealer and a foundation in one. Now I always have problems with the foundation and the concealer because they don't match. So I look as if I have like two loads of lines on my face. Not good. Uh, first off, it's good because you you just ignore the lid; it's got stuff in it. Um, it has this, and I prefer these to the ones you have to pour because they just go everywhere. So you don't, you know, you you don't want it. Um, it's thirty mil, and it's got a hell of a lot in it. I mean, like, I mean, as I discussed in my other video, my face complexion is really pale, so it's hard to find a foundation that fits it. Um, I can't have like gold and I like uh, like a, a goldy sand foundation, and I can't go porcelain, <laughs> so I have to kind of go. So this is beige. If you can see it, this is beige 55. Um, I did look at other ones, and obviously you do the test on your hand in the store, but this was the one that matched my complexion the most, and it just kind of evens it out as you can kind of see. Um, so yeah. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it's not really connected to if you can if I can just take that out, it's not connected to the bottom. And I've been using this since Christmas. So you have to really kind of pump it to get stuff out at a point. And that's just annoying because you've got places to go and people just seeing things to do and you don't want to sit here and mess with foundation all day. Um I have to obviously there's the shine problem I talked about in my last video which is why I use that. Just over the top, it just takes the shine away. Um, nobody wants shiny skin, nobody wants oily skin, so we just... Uh, in terms of the actual product, I think it's probably one of the best foundations I've bought. It has like a natural glow to it, so you don't have to put anything else onto the skin apart from that and maybe that. But, apart from that, you don't have to put anything on the skin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and that's what I like because I don't, you know, if I do a routine in the morning to get ready, it should take me no less than 12 minutes. That video took me 10. Normally it takes me 5, but I was trying to do it on camera and I, I don't even think I did my eyes properly. <laughs> but um, I like it. It's not as, I mean, it's not as strong as some of the more heavier found out, like the Rimmel, the one that said, oh, we're not, we don't do cake, it was caked. Like, I put it on my skin, it just sat on my skin. Um, and there's been ones I bought with, like, a L'Oreal Magique or something, and they're, um, they clog. And you don't want your skin to be clogged. And then I bought, like, this Oud blah blah, and it doesn't do it, you know, you want something that does the job. <clears throat> um, and as this is a 3 one I expected it to be pretty good. Max Factor has always been a favourite of mine because when I first started buying makeup when I was younger, Max Factor was the first one I had. So going back to the brand that I know works is a good idea. Um, it's got FPS, um, S, SPF 20, which I don't really use. We don't get a lot of sun. Anyway. Well, we do today, but that's not the point. <laughs> you know, we we used to we we got sun. But, like, that's my, you know. If it was raining outside, you would have believed me. Um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, 
It, the only problem I have found is it, when you have it on your hands, because also you, you need to put you need to put a lot to get it onto your face. And if you touch something, because I normally do my makeup, bar my lipstick, and then I go and brush my teeth, because I can get like my my face done first. And um, if you put your hands on the basin and it has the foundation on it, you'll just see like lines of brown <laughs> going down. And likewise, if you like if you wash your hands and you dry it on a towel, the towel will be filled with that colour. And it's really annoying, because my mum doesn't know that's what's happening to her towels, but it is. Um, that's the only problem I have with this. It stains. Um, and it stained my floor, and it stained the towels, and it stained the bath, and it, it stains. That is the only problem I have with this. Other than that, I really like it. And I will continue to use it until I find one that I like more. Um, I would say if you want to cover up under eye circles, this is probably the best one. Um, I did start using, I haven't got it down here, I did start using a kind of like lighter colour underneath, but it doesn't work. Um, so this is just nice to kind of put under, although I have found it stopped me wearing eyeliner. Because if you, I don't know if you can see, but if you put it under there and then you put the eyeliner over top, it kind of smudges with it. So you've got like eyeliner there and then that underneath and it gets a bit like clingy and yucky. So I've, I've not used eyeliner for a while, I'm going for a more natural look at the moment. Um, but I think it's, it's not too bad a material. I mean, it's a primer so you don't need a primer. I'll just get a little bit out and put it on my hand and show you. Um, you don't need a primer. You can see that it might have gone, you know, too far and stuff. Um, but you don't need a primer, which is good because I don't have time for a primer in the morning, and you don't want to. Um, it's the, the primer, the foundation, and a concealer. Um, and I find the problem with concealers is sometimes they don't do the job they're meant to do. And if you've had a really late night and you're depending on a concealer, this is this is like your godsend. This is heaven in a box, or heaven in a bottle, really. I suppose it's a bottle. Um. So yeah, I really like it. I would recommend it if you have pale skin because it just evens it out. I have a redness kind of problem with like this this half of my skin. Um, and it, I've started using Lush products because it stops it. Um, and I love Lush but there's not one near me so I have to go elsewhere and find Lush. And it's just a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I just it's I mean it's three in one, it was eleven quid. I won't pay over ten quid for a foundation, but I've seen a lot of reviews of this and it says it's like the beauty must have. So I thought I would give it a go and tell you my thoughts. And um I like it. <laughs> Simple as it's like an all-round concealer and it's an all-round foundation, an all-round primer, and it's really nice, so I would recommend you give it a go, even if it's just a little sample, because there's no harm in trying it. Um, but it's kind of made my face look a bit more kind of awake. <laughs> so if I have a hangover, this is the first thing I get. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put the lid back on that. So yeah, that's about it. Um, and I will post a, another video about these. Um, Obviously this one had writing on it, but I have one upstairs with writing. I've gone through like two of these. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.